that drives you and makes you hustle every day? And how do you maintain a hustle in this world, in this industry? Do you handle do you handle it in an honest way in this business? Well, you know, I was looking at um, the new edition story, okay. and I like it. I'm not mad at it at all. But it was funny because they were like talking to Michael Bivens, and they was like, "When do you ever see the 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 label or the administrator, bro?" Right, and then they were showing how the, the other guy robbed them, the in-between guy. All my artists be rich, and I'm the one that be broke. But usually it be the artist that be complaining that be broke, and it be the other guy. Yeah, you know that's where honesty gets you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I've learned enough from it, and I built a brand where I can do it on my own. So the, it, it's tougher to be honest, yeah. but you have a better life if that's you're honest. Cool. You have cool. a more longevity if you're honest. You know what I'm saying? And and honestly, like, as far as my drive, I'm from Harlem. And I came up around people that were competitive in the street at doing illegal things. So now that I'm not doing any illegal things, I still have the competitiveness, but I don't have, it's legal. Right. So it's so much, and I don't I do not do anything unless I enjoy it. Right. So like, my, my son plays ball like every day. Basketball, books, but he don't get paid for that. You understand what I'm saying? But he do it every day, he love it. To me, I'm like, yo, bro, if, regardless of what it is, if you love it, the trick is to figure out how to get paid to do things you, you love, love so that way the mistakes don't feel like mistakes. It feels like practice. It's just practice. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a mistake when you love it because you get better the next time you do it. So it's practice. In my life, that's what I've been doing. I'm practicing. I did it one way. Now I'm trying to do it another way. And now I'm trying to do it another way. You've seen me do it. Absolutely. I'm like, all right, yo, we had this conversation 10 years ago. I did it this way. You, you, are, you, saw, you, you, you were there when you were like, what happened? It's over. I'm doing it different. I'm, not, I'm doing something different. I changed everything. I had a plan, right? And I'm yeah. down trying it another way. I practiced it one way. Now I think I could do it better this way. But yeah. also in doing it, my kids got to be first. The other way, my kids wasn't first. I always did it for them, but my time with them didn't come first. In this hustle, my time with my children come before anything. I schedule everything around that because I love it, and she needs it, and she loves it, and we love it. Yeah. And every time that happens, the opportunities that have presented themselves to me have been way huger than me hustling on the street all day. Doing the right thing presents those big opportunities. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't do the right thing because they're scared that they're not gonna get the opportunities. They end up hustling real fast and hard for nothing. <laughs> they cheat, yeah. They, they cheat, they think yeah. they're winning temporarily, right. Right. and then all of a sudden they gotta start over and they're older. Still and it's cool. always harder to start over older. Don't start working out when you're 50. You have no muscle memory. Start when you're a teenager. Mm -hmm. Just practice life young. So by the time you get to a certain age, you've already done it wrong at a young age. But it's not hot to be the old motherfucker in the club. That's the one thing I don't want to be, is a ringer. You know what I'm saying? The old guy that thinks he's cool around everybody young. And that's not going to be me. I'm not a ringer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be a bully in that circle. I'm going to be a bully around people my peers, my age. And if I can't, then I'm going to keep hustling and grinding until I am. Period. I could, it's easy to be a ringer. I'm not a ringer. I'm not trying to be the old guy at the club and be the, the legend and know what other. Uh, nah, fuck all that. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Dash in the house and you like, you know, you just. I'm low. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'd be a bully. I could always get money over there. Yeah. Legend money is easy money. Easy money. Walk through. I'm because I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm 45. I'm 46. I've done enough though that I can really just live off the history. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I, for me, yeah. I have other options. Right. You know what I'm saying? What's your thoughts on cannabis-infused alcohol and the risk-reward of getting into this industry? Where's the cannabis-infused alcohol? I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing about that. Where's it at? Uh, I'm late. I've been in the house. Uh, I've been in the studio editing this movie. Cannabis-infused alcohol. <laughs> Damn. Where is it? My thoughts are I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's good. I'm curious to know what that feels like. Pause. You know? And what was the, what was the other one? I got stuck on the cannabis. Wow. If you had two questions, what was the other one? 
and the risks and the rewards of getting into this industry? If you believe in something, there is no risk. There's no risk. There's no risk in, in, in going to get your dreams because the experience is, 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 is all that really is should be currency. Right. Is the good time, the, you know, the bucket list. Right. Look at your bucket list. That's the I don't give a fuck it yeah. list. I'm gonna do this because I just want to do it. Love, the passion. Just because it's fun. Exactly. That's what I got. I got a list of shit that I just want to do just because. One of them was sell oil. I did it and I yeah. moved on. Yeah. You know what when I'm saying? You know your purpose, there's no obstacle. One of no them, I, I wanted to be no a fight risk. promoter. I did it and yeah. I moved on. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a music mogul. I did it and I moved on. I wanted to be a fashion mogul. I did it, I did it and I moved on. I wanted to do art. I did it and I moved on. Now I want to be a um, film uh, uh, well, a director. I want to be a director, but I also want to have all these things. I just want to make movies. I want to do. I want to do content. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And now that I'm I'm learning how to to, to 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 live a lifestyle and still maintain a healthy diabetic situation, I want to tell people how to be as healthy as me. Because one thing a diabetic wants to see is other diabetics win. Because that means they're gonna win. Right. You understand what I'm saying? The more of us that win, the more we know we gonna win. So I'ma teach people. Like I don't know why anybody's ashamed that they're diabetic. It just it shows character. It, it defines like yo, I did everything I did while I was diabetic. Period. From the street to the music to the fashion, everything diabetic. If I could do it, anyone could do it. Yeah. I did everything. You could do anything as a diabetic. The world needs to know that. Just you know, but you gotta take it. You gotta you gotta carry. I'm 46. Gotta maintain. You could be 46 and diabetic and still be rolling. You could do that. And your sugar, you, you said your blood My sugar. shit is at a, set, a six something right now. Right. I ain't exactly. never been at a six nothing. With chefs around, with counting my carbs, everything. I never ever did it. It's the first time. It's fucked up, because now I got any, way more energy. Mm. Mm. I told you I lost 10 pounds last week. I was way fatter last week. Pause. <laughs> Word up, I know it. <laughs> yeah, I was way fatter last week. <laughs> Seven days ago, I was 10 pounds heavier, B. I was the fuck all that. You've been working out, like, great. Just, I gotta get right. I'm my mouth sugar right. I'm good now. Mm. You know, but I hurt my shoulder, so I, that's why I'm bad. I, I couldn't work yeah, out. You've been, you been doing acupuncture. What's, what's up with that? It's been working. It, it's about circulating the blood, because when I have an injury, there's no, there's no, but the, like I said, uh, Chinese medicine is bug, because they do it by your tongue. They look at your tongue and they tell you everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it's been working. You know, I, I really don't like all those needles, so I don't give a. F I, every time she does it, I don't like it. Every I don't like it, but it's good once it's in there. Like sticky, like sticky. I, it's just con conceptually, I don't like needles. Yeah. You know, I just got away from all the needles, and now I'm back yeah. on needles and shit. So. What's the next one? Do you have a question? Uh, yeah, I got a question. Ask him. What's your question? Oh, not what's the question? What's your question? Rocky, yeah, when Rocky no, no, tells me not doing it. Yeah, what's your question? I'm gonna wait on mine. I'm gonna wait on mine. Oh, what am I? What is that? I'm gonna wait on. Oh, why wait. you keep rubbing your hands like that? What's going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make fire. I'm thinking of a master plan. I'm rubbing my hand. Thinking of a master plan. What are some of the biggest sacrifices that you had to make when starting up any of your businesses? The biggest one is the time away from my children. Mm. That's the biggest sacrifice. Anything that takes you away from your family is a sacrifice. Same here. Yeah. But that's the biggest sacrifice. Other than that, nothing. Right. Out of clothing, liquor, movies, music, oil, which industry is the toughest to break into the barriers? I think fashion might be the toughest because it's so cash intensive. You know what I mean? Like that's the one where you really need a deep pocket to sustain. It takes a long time to build a brand. Building a brand, again, takes patience. But as far as moving parts, I think fashion. Because the design process and the soliciting process and the calendar process, like music, you can make a record and whenever you feel like it. You know, you're not on a calendar. But with fashion, if you don't have the brand shipped, or if you don't have the clothes, the product shipped to the stores, you lose all your real estate. And there's just so many variables. And they're producing that shit most of the time Overseas, like my stuff is now made in the USA, but before everything is in China. Like, what you gonna do a, 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 a half a planet away at a different time, speaking a different language? Mm -hmm. And then, if you have to, like, to the extent that if it goes wrong three months ahead of time, it's not gonna get on the boats, so you have to fly it in, you lose money. There's so many ways, so many different things. Everything yeah. has to work perfect for you to make money in fashion, and then even at that, you're lucky if you have a 10% margin. 
Most and people hustle for a three or four percent margin and do value and even at off price. Uh -huh. so it's just for ten percent. Yeah, so that means a hundred million, you're only making ten million. Ten million, you're only making one million. Five million, you're making five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand, you're making one hundred thousand or fifty thousand. You understand what I'm saying? So people might generate, but the, and that's if everything goes right. And but if everything goes off price, cut your margin in half, and that's really where the where people make money is doing volume of off going price. Going to Macy's and going to department stores. Right. So you have a three percent margin, but if you do double the stuff, then it turns into a six percent margin. But still, yeah. if you have ten of those companies, then it's like a good healthy thing. But that's what I'm saying. Fashion, I think, is the hardest. Yo, this is Kenyatta with Hip Hop Motivation. First of all, I want to tell everybody out there, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to our YouTube page. And if you haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to our YouTube page, make sure you do so. Stay in tune, we have a lot more to come. Peace. Deciding from thoughts of being sick and tired of something, starting something, or admiring something, can be the emotions that fuel change. Because write this down, emotion leads to passion, passion leads to action, and action leads to results. Word up. Question, what's the number one killer of dreams? If you said fear, you're wrong. Fear is on the list, but it's not the number one killer. The number one killer of dreams is comfort. The comfort of a good paying job or in an active relationship can seduce us for many years into the rhythm of accepting things without making any moves to change. Further numbing us into a state of zombie-like passiveness. Write this down. Passiveness will cause your dreams to pass you by. I'm thinking about something. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a musician. Yeah, exactly. I like to spend all kinds of money. Like the dollar, the euro, like the pound, like the franc pause, like the yen. 